yeah, when we arrived it was great fun. We all sort of clicked right away, a lot of really nice people. I remember feeling when we first arrived, we first touched down on the plane, um, just, yeah, just really cold. It was quite, quite cold weather, the wind was really strong. And yeah, we just had to wait ages for our luggage. The guys at the airport were just mucking around. It took so long to get my bag. I think the biggest challenge for me probably hasn't been the physical challenges of Survivor. It's really just been the challenge of standing the other contestants. Gee, we just got along so well. I just remember thinking how lovely these people are and uh, how much I'm really looking forward to spending so much time with them. And then the intruder arrived. Intruder alert. Intruder alert, intruder alert, intruder alert. I do kind of remember, I thought, I thought people were joking at the time. They were saying, oh, here comes the intruder. And maybe that's the lesson that one shouldn't be an intruder. Jane and I, yeah, there was a bit of chemistry there. And look, it was, it was mainly just, just keeping the others at bay. I, I did, did find that difficult, particularly with only female contestants and, and, and um, look, it's only natural. Hey, that Casey guy just thought he was all that bigger beard, tighter clothes. People who know me well enough know just how tolerant, patient, accepting of others I am, but Casey Franco was just a total dickhead. Unbogging that car first time, second time, third time. They cut out all the footage of me helping and made it look like I was just pissing around with the camera crew. Then he goes and wins immunity with that stupid immunity thingy rock. <laughs> God, the production values on this thing is shit ass. Seven years. Bum, 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 bum. We all wanted to see you. And then why people do this? I think, you know, the pressure to be on one connection. I mean, like in Australia, you can buy ice creams anywhere. Even here, yeah, the servers, they don't even have magnums. Uh, Basically, I don't like any of these people at all. Yeah, the answer's pretty obvious. I, I hate bearded. I was musing the other day, sitting back, skinny of air, wondering why on earth I got faded off. Survivor episode, when I wasn't even there. Dash, I thought. It occurred to me, giant physique like this, raw manly skills, what choice do they have? And um, I'm just sick of the racist microaggressions against New Zealanders. I find it difficult to understand a few of the things this person says, um, and just have a strange way of speaking. To tell you the truth, I'm just feeling really confused because I was on my best behaviour the whole time. I was trying really, really hard to be as nice as everyone else. Um, and, well, I just, yeah, I don't know what I did. I don't, I don't know what I did wrong. <sighs> Getting voted off did hurt. Um... I didn't see it coming, I guess. I'm reconciling myself with the fact I played fair. I was really nice to everybody. Um, and that I filled my bag with the last of the toilet paper and vodka. Um, I guess I've already mentioned the people. Uh, so my second biggest challenge other than the people is, um, can you see the toilet here? It's, it's quite something. Uh, perhaps you, know, you can take the camera crew up there. I have to admit, I felt excluded straight away. Uh, um, you know, it's not that I have anything against Australians, but there's a bit of racism uh, and undertone all the time. Uh, they're pretty soft. Uh, it won't leave the girl without wearing at least four or five layers of clothing. The thing you need to know about Stuart is, is that he is Kiwi. Um, and Kiwi people are quite good at a lot of things, but they're just lame. And, and so, 
I, I, it was good for Stuart to have a win because because New Zealand don't win at a lot of things, and when they do, it's that kind of winning that isn't like winning. It's just sort of um, it's a bit like dancing with your sister. Mm. Yeah, it's it's never going to lead anywhere. Stuart and Casey have just chosen to leave. I'm finding it really hard to sort of come to terms with them. It's time to leave. It's just too much, you know. Mm. I don't. I don't think Yeah, I think it's it's really all about the company. Um, there's people that make you know, a journey, make a voyage, and they haven't made this one. So, you know, perhaps as well, it would be unfair to just to stay and win again. I've had my win. I think uh, that one will have it. I think a lot of people didn't expect me to get this far in the game. Kat was definitely playing the game. Uh, she's one of those really nice people, but she's very manipulative. Um, and and you could she, see that she was working the team. Um, and it's disappointing to see someone like Kat get through to the final round. I don't think she deserved to get in there. I hate that Kat girl. That eight hour car ride where Kat won immunity, I was just as car sick as her. And you know, I didn't even get a mention for immunity. I feel like I really rallied. I feel like I really excelled at that challenge. Yeah, so uh, Corinne's just been voted off. Uh, yeah, really sad to see her go, but you can really see that um, Kat's playing the game and once she had that immunity, it, it, yeah, you knew that she was going to use that to her advantage and um, it was going to get pretty bitchy. Green said you're fat. <gasps> you're kidding. Like really fat. How fat? Bigger than the girl. Yeah, the wedding was a really great surprise. None of us expected that. Um, we were really um, excited that the producers organised the, the invitation to the Kazakh wedding. We, we were pretty strong in the first few heats of the dance um, uh, competition. So I think we really thought there was a pretty solid chance that both Casey and I would make it through to the finals. Um, I'd done a lot of warm-up with the local talent and had really sort of honed the Kazakh two-step. So yeah, we were pretty disappointed and I was, I was disappointed for Casey also, um, even though he was my competition, because his nut push skills were really good on the dance floor. Yeah, absolutely, we're three months on, there hasn't been a, a clear cut winner, um, but I think for me it was just making those great friendships. Like, I've sent so many emails and messages to Corinne, um, she's travelling so that's probably why she hasn't replied to any of them yet. Um, I think Casey took it a bit hard, he's, he's used to winning things. Look, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm happy to go away with that because I know I'm a winner in my heart and Kat's as bad as a girl. For our 32nd season, a new group of castaways take on the greatest adventure on television. But what none of them know... Medical! Medical! Let's go! ...is they're about to face the most punishing season in Survivor history. Join us this spring for Survivor.